Hi, welcome back to my channel. I decided to make another collection update. I just wanted to show everyone where my collection is at the moment. The biggest and most obvious update is the addition of my fifth Detoff. Uh, as my collection has grown, I obviously needed a little more room. I'm not a big fan of overcrowding my shelves, so um, the fifth Detoff was just something I needed. Previously, I had my Detoffs resting on a uh, long shelf that only accommodated four of the Detoffs. So now with the additional shelf that no longer uh, worked. So ultimately I decided the best option for me was to custom make my own uh, shelf here underneath. These are, this is just made uh, with a bunch of uh, two by fours. That's just essentially a frame. So in the middle of it, it's just, it's hollow. And for the facade here, I basically just repurposed a bunch of shelves from an old uh, Billy bookcase. Not only was it just convenient, uh, I knew that it was a it would be a good match for the details because uh, they they both came from IKEA. Uh, in the middle here, I installed a hinge, so I'm able to open and close this. Inside, you'll see all the wiring. This is what lights the all my uh, details. These are the switches. I basically just click on this one. Uh, these two uh, power strips that I have running and that controls the lights. My previous setup, which was actually here, uh, that shelf actually was repurposed over here. This is a quick peek of my, or well, I'm at home office. Because I, I, did, I, couldn't have, I didn't have access to the back of the shelf, it really hindered uh, my ability to get to the wires. With this new setup, I'm actually able to, uh, I'm actually able to get a hold of the wiring, uh, so I can kind of neatly put everything in place in a more orderly fashion. On this, these side panels here, these are just held together by uh, pegs, uh, so I can just easily remove them here. I hide all my boxes. Uh, and things here. The other thing I really like about having this is that I can kind of hide everything and keep everything nice and tidy where, where previously you can kind of see all the boxes or whatever else I would put on the bottom, uh, which I wasn't a big fan of. And I, because I have kids and a dog at, at my house, I didn't feel safe actually putting anyth anything of value here underneath. So this way I can actually make use of the space and also keep it, everything nice and tidy. So now if we have uh, Fans Toys Thomas, uh, easily my favorite pickup that I got this year. One of my favorite Decepticons. Uh, and I think uh, Fans Toys really, really did a nice job with this guy. Uh, if I had one uh, minor nitpick, I do think he's just a tad small. Uh, for me, I kind of think he should be a, just a little bigger, especially when I have him next to uh, my Seekers here. He should just be a little bigger than what the Seekers uh, should be. Uh, but other than that, I really like this guy. Uh, down here we have uh, MP Shockwave. Uh, this is the first release. Uh, I do wish I owned the Plus version with the updated paint. I think that would that would be a big improvement upon this guy. Next to him are the KFC Opticlones. I was debating whether or not I should try to find the Fans Toys version, but uh, at the end I, I decided to just stick with these guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by uh, the paint and just the quality of these guys. And I make these Energon cubes. Add the light, just give it a little more glowing effect just to spruce up this uh, display here. The only thing I don't like about this uh, set is that I am not a fan of the guns. I believe they were part of the lens. Yeah, I thought they, were, they looked kind of silly and bulky. Uh, so I just ended up just using one of them. 
On this guy, I have him holding a, a little miniature Megatron in uh, gun mode. Uh, down here, we have X Transbot Stunticons. I'm waiting on the trailer so I can finally combine this guy. I did see pictures that were released recently, and um, I, I'm pretty excited to finally be able to see these guys in combined form. And below him are Fans Toys version of the Stunticons. I like the Aerobots. I just have the three that are released so far, but I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how uh, the remaining two will look and also seeing how it'll look in combined form. So we're trying to figure out how I want to uh, eventually display these guys. Most likely I'll leave one set in, in this form, in robot form, and one in combined form, which I haven't decided. I'll have to kind of see once I have both finally combined. Yeah, looking forward to that. Here we have uh, the Make Toys Seekers. I'm still debating whether or not I'll stay with these guys or eventually trade them out with the, the new MP Seekers. I haven't fully decided. I think I just might because I, I do like the articulation of, of these guys. I do think the, the new release will not have a waist swivel, which is kind of unfortunate because for me, I, I think it adds uh, to, to his posability. So I, I might just uh, end up uh, sticking with these guys because I do like the way they look and I do like the quality of these guys. And here we have uh, Megatron. This is actually the infinite transformation version. Really looks the part. Uh, I do like the heft and the, the improvements they made to it. Over here we have the official Hasbro version of uh, MP Soundwave. I'm eagerly waiting for Fans Toys to uh, release their version. I do plan on switching him out with the fan storage version, especially the tapes. Not the biggest fan of uh, Rumble here. I think they're kind of limited and they look a little cheap. So I'm hoping the fan storage version will have better uh, cassette tapes. Over here, we have one of Make Toys Coneheads, their version of Dirge. I'm waiting for the Make Toys to uh, release the other two Coneheads so I have the complete set. Similar to the season one Seekers, uh, I think they look pretty good. Yeah, I I'll probably most likely will at least get the other two uh, Make Toys cone heads. And down here we have uh, Devastator. This is the Jinbao uh, oversized KO of uh, Gravity Builder. For me, this is kind of my version of uh, Devastator. I do favor this guy over the Toy World Constructor. Even though he's definitely not cartoon accurate, I just like the look of this guy. Oh. Here's another look at my Decepticons. The big hole in my collection are obviously the Insecticons. I would like to try to get the Fans Toys version, but with the prices they are going for these days, I'm kind of reluctant to kind of uh, overspend. So I'm really holding out and hoping that eventually they'll uh, uh, re-release them. Here we have Fans Toys version of Cyclonus and Galvatron. Uh, two of my favorite characters in my collection. For the base itself, I kind of decided I wanted something a little different. 
when I bought this additional DTOF, it had this, I bought it uh, secondhand and it had this light already uh, installed. So I decided to just make the most of it. And so I just, so I built a display piece around it, uh, the light. Next we have the Autobots from the uh, 1986 movie. Over here we have MMC's version of Springer along with MMC's uh, Azalea. I decided to uh, go with these two. I think they make a really nice pair. She uh, is a tad small, especially compared to other bots, but with this pose here, I, I, I think it works. Here we have Fans Toys Hoodlum, their version of Hot Rod. He does have his flaws, not Fans Toys best offering. I decided to go with him instead of the official MP release. Uh, I, I still do like the presence he has and the overall proportions and, and the scale. And next to him is Fans Toys Jabber, their version of Blur. Really nice figure. Definitely like the, the pose I managed to get him in. Really adds to his character. Back here is MP Ultra Magnus. Uh, this is actually the THF version, KO version with the improved shoulder joints and the, the butt flap. Again, I added a piece of tint to the, his uh, window to give it a more reflective quality. And I think it's a nice touch. I'm still missing cup. I'm hoping when x Transbot releases theirs, that that'll be my cup. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the Fans Toys version. So I'm hoping the x Transbot version will be the one I'm gonna go with. And here we have Fans Toys Aerial Bots. Still missing two more to complete the set. I'm liking the set so far. Looking forward to see how it'll look in combined form and how uh, everything works. But so far I'm liking the quality and the look of the individual characters. So much so that I, I may just decide to keep them in separate uh, bots and not have them in combined mode. Uh, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure. And here we just have two mini bots from uh, season three. I think these are just placeholders for now until I decide what I want to do with, with this space. I've decided I'm not going to collect season three because I don't think I'll have the space for it. So I'll most likely eventually uh, sell these characters, I think. Neat little figures, but uh, yeah, I, I decided I'm just gonna stick with season one and two. So these guys are just placeholders until I figure out what I want to do with the space. And starting off with my season one Autobots, uh, we have the official MP uh, Ratchet. I did do the upgrade for the hips, uh, change those out. Does really make it more uh, cartoon accurate. Uh, next to him, we have uh, MP Wheeljack. Uh, this is the original version and not the not the plus version. I decided to just stick with this version. Personally, this is not my favorite mode. I think uh, it's actually a little outdated and I decided just to kind of hold off and I'm hoping one of the third parties will eventually come out with another version. Uh, something a little more cartoon accurate and just better sculpt it. And over here we uh, have the MP Plus version of Blue Streak. Uh, great figure. I really like the change they did to the head sculpt. Uh, it really enhances the look of it and it gives it a really nice cartoon look. One minor custom uh, touch I did was uh, I did add the um, little window tint onto the leg here, just just to kind of give it a different look. He is mounted on this base uh, to give him a more dynamic pose, just to kind of change things up. Uh, in front here, we have a uh, Fans Toys version of Braun. Neat little figure. Articulation is not uh, the best, especially by uh, current standards. I personally prefer um, lots of ankle tilt and more of a waist swivel. 
just because I, I like to pose my figures and uh, whenever uh, my figures uh, lack one or the other it really kind of hinders what I'm able to pull off but uh, as far as the look I, I, I do like the look of him really uh, plays a part and rounding out the display here is X Transbots uh, wind charger nice little figure I do like the paint on this guy uh, it's nice uh, gloss to him his feet are uh, not the best I'm sure you've heard a lot about it complaints about it from the community and the one big question I get asked the most is you know wh where I get these bases from and uh, yes I do make them myself uh, they're made out of insulation foam I think XPS foam that you can get from uh, the hardware store so I basically just sculpt and uh, paint them myself uh, that's part of the enjoyment in uh, collecting for me is not only just uh, collecting the figures but also uh, displaying them and adding these uh, little diorama scenes just adding these little touches really enhances the overall look and display presence of the collection so over here we have transformed element version of Optimus Prime. Uh, I decided to just stay with this version and not get the official MP44. And I, I do have some issues with uh, the look of uh, the official MP44. Again, I added a little piece of window tint onto the windshield here. Uh, give it a little more of, of a reflective quality to it. Uh, next to him is the official uh, MP Ironhide. Also, I uh, added a piece of window tint to uh, his window as well, uh, along with the upgraded hip skirts. And this is MP uh, Hound, the official Takara release. I really do like the look of this figure. It's probably one of my favorites as far as uh, look. The plastic quality is a little suspect, a little fragile, and he does feel a little uh, light. But as far as just looks, I, I think uh, the car really did a great job with this guy. Uh, luckily, luckily for me, I yet to notice any cracks or any imperfections. Uh, I only just transformed him the one time. I do really make sure I, I'm extra careful and I, I don't really uh, spend much time posing this guy just from fear of uh, him cracking or breaking. Now up here we have version 2 of uh, MP Bumblebee. Was debating a long time whether to uh, even get this guy or just stay with uh, version 1. Uh, eventually I did just decide to get him and yeah he's okay. I'm not a big fan of the feet. I'm sure most people aren't. I think they could have done better. And behind him is MP Prowl. Uh, this is the first version and not the plus. I didn't really notice too much of a change between the two versions to warrant an upgrade, so I just decided to just stay with this guy. Uh, so I still like the character, still like the figure, but uh, I would have liked that they had done the same thing they did with their blue streak and give him, given him an update on the face sculpt, but. Uh, uh, I guess they didn't feel like they needed to. Continuing on with Season 1 Autobots, uh, we have Fans Toys Phoenix. This is the X version with the metallic paint. I really like this figure. I like the look of him. Not the most articulate, but as far as just uh, shelf presence, this guy really just stands out just because of his uh, sheer size. So I'm really happy to have him in my collection. Uh, in front of him is the official MP uh, Sunstreaker. Really fun character, it's one of my favorites. Uh, really like posing him and yeah, as far as looks, I, I think he's probably one of the best. He really looks the part and uh, yeah, I really like the look of this character. Here we have Bat Cube's version of Gears. Grump, I believe he's called. Nice little figure. Uh, I do like the paint application on him. It's the silver. It's really clean, really nice. Uh, yeah, he's a fun little character. I, I do like the, 
the way they did the head sculpt. Uh, behind him is Bat Cube's version of Sideswipe. It's a nice figure. Overall, I think it's better than the official MP release. Uh, I do have that, but I decided to switch him out for this guy uh, just because he is more cartoon accurate and that's kind of what I'm going for. And he's also um, really fun to pose, very posable. I think that's, a, that's the biggest plus for this guy. Uh, he, he does feel a little lightweight. I feel like uh, in some places back he kind of cut corners, especially the knees. Uh, and I think the arms are, are a little off. If another company, uh, another third party company decides they want to uh, put out a version, I think they can outdo this one. But overall, I still think he's a great figure. And over here, here we have X Transbots Ages, their version of Trailbreaker. This is the Tune version, kind of the re release uh, with the, a more Tune accurate paint scheme. I do like the look of this guy. I went ahead and uh, added a piece of window tint to his windshield here as well, just to give him a little more pop and break up some of the color because he does have a lot of black and uh, I'm glad I did. I think it really, that little piece of uh, re reflective film is a really nice touch because it matches his uh, eyes so well. I'm still debating whether or not I'll stay with this guy or whether I'm going to get the fans toys version when it releases eventually. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this guy. So I have to wait and see. Next, we have the newly released uh, Transforms Element uh, Speedstar, their version of Mirage. Uh, I do have the uh, MMC version, but I decided to uh, switch him out with this guy I didn't have a lot of time to uh, mess around with him but I do think he's an, an improvement on uh, what else is out there as far as posability and just overall look and heft I, I do think he's a really nice figure the only thing I wish he had was a little more waist swivel because I feel like everywhere else I is very articulate uh, especially in his legs so it's just kind of a, bit, a little bit disappointing to have his uh, waist be hindered by the way his uh, backpack is uh, designed. But overall, I still like this figure. And back here, we have uh, Bad Cubes Huff, their version of Huffer. Uh, this is their version 2.0. Uh, one of my earliest figures I got uh, when I started collecting. So he does have a lot of uh, sentimental value for me. I most likely will eventually switch him out for the Fans Toys version when it releases. But he is he is a nice figure. And starting off with the Season 2 car bots, uh, we have the official MP Inferno. One of my favorite characters growing up. I really like the design of him uh, and the way the uh, the car engineered the transformation for this guy was probably one of the best and uh, one of my favorites. Uh, articulation is a little lacking on him, especially uh, in his legs. So posing him is sometimes can be a bit challenging, but as far as looks, I, I still really like him. Uh, over here we have the MP Plus version of Smokescreen. Similar to the other MP Plus releases by Takara, you know, you definitely get a more cartoon accurate uh, paint scheme and also better uh, cartoon accurate head sculpt. In front of him is Fans Toys Dune Runner, Beachcomber. A neat little figure. Uh, I really do like the heft and the uh, overall look of the character. And here we have X Transbots version of Cosmos. This is the first version as opposed to the metallic paint on the re-release. I think one of X Transbot's best figures they have released. Just overall look, I think is uh, great. And he definitely looks like Cosmos. I do like these more oddly shaped characters. I think they're more fun. Here we have Bad Cube's uh, Red Alert. Recon is what they're called. Similar to their Sideswipe. 
same kind of flaws but also the same positives as far as cartoon accuracy and cartoon look uh, I really like that they improved upon the official release especially on the, the doors on the arms but again if someone else decides to put out another version of this guy I think it, it won't be too difficult to approve upon what this has been done here and over here we have MP tracks easily my least favorite MP figure that I own I got them just so I can kind of round out uh, my cast but it's definitely not my favorite uh, I think he has a lot of flaws and just doesn't really feel like it's a masterpiece quality figure especially uh, by today's standards so I'm really hoping at some point someone decides to uh, make an attempt at releasing a, a version of this character because I, I do think he's the character itself is pretty cool and I, I feel like it's definitely needed uh, next to him is uh, MP Grapple. One of my favorite releases by uh, Takara. Uh, really like the paint on him. But I think he's a great figure. Again, similar to their Inferno. Really like how they engineered the transformation for this guy. Uh, over here, we have uh, x Spots uh, Hoist. Again, I added the little window tent to the front here. Uh, this is the first version. I know they have recently released a, a um, more tune accurate version, but uh, personally, I kind of like the silver on the arms and the legs as opposed to the white that the new one has. For me, I, I kind of remember him having silver so I, I think this, this is actually, to me, is, is more cartoon accurate. Over here we have uh, DX9's Power Glide. Probably their best figure. Uh, really, really looks like the character. Just great. And back here we have Fans Toys Sheridan, uh, their version of Warpath. Really nice paint on this guy. I haven't messed with him too much. Uh, people talk about his knee issues. Luckily for me, uh, mine seems okay. I did pick up the extra screws that that the company eventually uh, uh, gave out, but I haven't installed it. To me, he feels a little too big. To me, he's a mini bot, but overall look, I think he's a really nice looking figure. And down here we have our Fans Toys Dinobots. Some are my favorites in my collection. I really like the look of these guys. One of the benefits of actually having this custom shelf here underneath my Detofs is that now uh, with the access to uh, the wirings, I can, I can actually light the display the way I always intended. Uh, these are lit by a couple of LED strips that I have installed underneath the base and um, it gives this nice glowing lava effect. I am waiting for Jazz and Cliff Jumper from the season one cast, and I'm holding out for Fans Toys to release their version of Jazz, hopefully sometime uh, next year. And they've also hinted that they uh, plan to put out a version of Cliff Jumper as well. So I'm kind of holding out for those two. And uh, once I have that, I should have uh, the complete season one cast. And I'm still waiting for. Uh, the Fans Toys version of Sea Spray to add to my Season 2 collection here. Uh, I think other than that, I don't think I'm missing any. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this collection update. I definitely have some more pieces to come in the future and looking forward to the upcoming new year. As always, please comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Till next time.